All right, so here we have the Sofern HS42. Now, this is a handheld right angle light or a headlight, and I'll show you how to use it for both. Quickly, just take a look at the box. So this is what you get with the box. Have a geese, so it's gonna give you all the outputs, currents, voltage, powers, waterproof, all that sort of stuff we will go through. Uh, I like how it comes with saying that it is an SST40 and the temperature, so 6,000 to 6,500 Kelvin is what you're getting. So bright white light is what you're getting. All right, in the box is everything in front of me. So you get the light, you get the battery, you get a charging cable. Now it's a very long charging cable, so it's very practical, very useful. And that is going to charge the back of the light here. If I just turn that around so we can see nice and deep charging port. So if you're gonna have to have a charging port, I'm not a fan of them, but if you do have them, make them deep. And I, and I really like this one. Also quite a thick bit of rubber there. So you can, uh, you know, I, I guess you can be fairly confident that that is gonna do a good job for protecting the charging port from water and dust and things like that. You get a couple of O-rings, which is just going to uh, replace these ones here or this one here if it breaks. So two spare O-rings is pretty cool. I shall leave that open so I can put the battery in it. You'll get your user manual. It's just gonna tell you how to use this thing. And you'll get your head strap because it is a headlight. So you're gonna get your head strap. So let's pop the battery in. Oh, just first, uh, 18650 lithium ion 3.7 volt, 3000 milliamp hours. So put the battery in, make sure I got that right. Yep, okay. So. If you want this to be a headlight, you just line up. So see how I'm lining up these two plastic areas with these two openings here. Smack that on, good to go. Now, oh, that's not a nice sound when you turn it, but it is very, very sturdy. So that's a very sturdy uh, uh, configuration. You can turn it down, you can move it up and down and move it all around, shake it all about. Uh, but it's not going anywhere, so I like that about it. So there's your, your head torch configuration right there, which is not too shabby at all. For the purposes of the review, I'm not gonna have it on the head torch, but you know you've got it. Also, it has a magnetic symbol here. Let's test that. Okay, great, cool. So that's that's cool, man. I like it, strong magnet. Hate it when companies give you a weak magnet. All right, let's get into the light. All right, so just taking a look at everything here. So you can see here, there's a lot going on in the face. You've got these three emitters up here, which I'm guessing are gonna be your floodies. You've got a spot down here, and these two here and here are gonna be your red light. Uh, so my apologies, I did not use the red light in the night shots last night. I'm dealing with a bit of an injury and it just slipped my mind and I do apologize about that. Uh, the button is up top, very, very easy to access. And once you click it on, you get your battery level indicator there. Full green means you're good to go. Anything but that means charge it when you can. Knurling on the body is really, really nice. Very, very grippy and just all in all feels comfortable in the hand. It is, it is a nice handful if you're holding it as a right, uh, right hand light, uh, right angle light, my mistake. And very easy to manipulate with your you know, pointer finger or your thumb. Now, would have been nice to get a pocket clip so that you can notch it onto your belt as well and go hands-free. So this is basically, uh, you need to pocket it or use the headband and put it on your head. Now, as I just showed you, so from off, single click turns it on, single click turns it off. Long press from off gets you into moonlight mode, single click turns it back off. Double click from off gets you into turbo mode, single click off. Triple click, one, two, three. Strobe, single click off. Four clicks, one, two, three, four. Lock out. See that? Now, how do you unlock? One, two, three, four. There we go. Now, from on, long press cycles through whatever mode you're in, okay? So long press is gonna cycle. So we have the flood and throw on at the moment. So we've got everything on at the moment. So long, long press is just gonna cycle through that. Double click from on, turbo mode, triple click from on, red. Now, red light, press and hold, low, medium, high, low, medium, high, double click, turbo for red. 
Triple click from on, swaps it again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so you see how I'm cycling from on to through the different light modes. So this has everything, flood and throw, one, two, three. This has just flood. So see at the top there, oh, you probably can't, but it's ju that's just flood, just the top emitters. One, two, three, that's just throw. One, two, three, just red. Okay, so that's how uh, swapping everything goes. Single click, single click. Oh, that was from turbo. So from turbo, single click brings it back down and then single click again turns it off. Single click, memory, okay? So watch this, double click, we're on turbo, single click, back down, single click, off, okay? Now the modes, so for spotlight and floodlight, so let's just get that, okay, so from spotlight and floodlight, uh, from, off, there we have it here, moonlight mode, one lumen, then press and hold, low mode, 50 lumens, press and hold, uh, medium mode, 350 lumens, Press and hold, high mode, 900 lumens. Now, double click, 2,100 lumens, 176 minutes of runtime, sorry, 176 meters of throw, and two hours and 20 minutes of runtime, but I dare say that'll step down because the head is getting very, very hot. Single click, back down to what I was in before I hit turbo, single click off. So the good thing about that is, Let's say I'm in low mode and I'm just using low mode to save battery, but then I, I notice something that I want to see far away. Double click, it's going to show me what I wanted to look at. Single click back to where I was and then single click off. As well, when you're on, as I've shown you, one, two, three, and it just swaps. So now I'm in your, your flood, one, two, double click, and then, oh, yep, no, nah, I'm good. Single click off, uh, back down, single click off. So don't mind the user interface for this, it's pretty good. Now you do have a one meter drop resistance and this is IP66 uh, water rated. So it says it's not for diving. I'm sure you could drop it into a puddle and it'd be okay, but uh, I would be hesitant to submerge this for too long. Now I'm gonna leave a link to this in the uh, comments below, uh, sorry, in the description below. So if you are interested in this, click on the link. There should be a discount code there as well and head on over and grab one. And until then, let's head off to the night shots. See ya. All right, the so firm. So I'm single clicking. Wow, look at that. Nice floodlight. Really, really beautiful. Press and hold. It's going to cycle for me. Lowest output there. Pretty useful for close distances. Cycling up, much better. Cycling up gets the entire backyard. Double click. Full blast. One, two, three. Now you've got the bit of a throw happening. So flood and throw, which is pretty bloody useful. Look at the tree back there with all the throw, that's awesome. Now single click off, off, one, two, three. Strobe, whoa. Single click on, one, two. Look at that, very, very bright. Nice flood and throw light. Wow, really cool. See ya.